Hello everyone, Trading DNA welcomes you all to another video in Technical Analysis series. In this video, we are going to learn about chart patterns which are very much basics for price action trading. These price action chart patterns are very much helpful in stock trading, option trading, currency trading, forex trading and so on. Before watching this video, sit yourself in a comfortable place and I request everyone to have the most attention and not skip this video. Watch the video completely and carefully. In this video, we are going to see about most of the chart patterns and its types. So before continue watching this video, kindly please do subscribe this video and let's get started. I hope you all aware of what is candlesticks right we have made a separate video on how to read a candlestick and if you don't know what are candlesticks kindly watch that video i'll give the link here so candlesticks are of different kinds bullish candle bearish candle harami candle morning star evening star and so on that we have already discussed in that video so how these chart patterns are formed group of many candlesticks forms this pattern which is very much helpful for a trader to predict the direction of the stock so basically chart patterns are broadly classified into three types continuation pattern and reversal pattern and another one is bilateral pattern from the name itself you can clearly understand that continuation pattern is the pattern which tends to move in the same direction that it had traveled and reversal pattern is something that forms reversal could happen and bilateral pattern is something tricky and it works either way it may continue the trend or it may reverse the trend these are the patterns that we are going to discuss in this video top and bottom patterns head and shoulder inverse head and shoulder rectangle patterns triangle patterns flags pennants and wedges cup and handle patterns starting with the top and bottom pattern first one is double top and double bottom some people call this double top pattern as m pattern and some people call the double bottom pattern as w pattern so let's see this double top pattern so when the stock is in uptrend and at a point where the buyers lose their strength and the sellers came into power and at this neckline point the buyers took back the price to this same resistance zone where again the buyers lose their power for the second time this indicates that there could be a chance of reversal from this zone so once this price breaks this neckline you can make a entry here and double bottom is exact opposite to this when a stock is in downtrend it takes support from the first place and swing high and came down to the same support zone and it is reversing which means this downtrend could change into this uptrend so once this stock breaks this neckline zone a trader can make an entry and expect the price to go higher let's see this with an example for clear understanding this is the neckline stock is moving up and it took resistance at this point came down to this neckline and again took the resistance at this same zone which means there is a high pressure of selling at this zone and once it came down and broke this neckline you can make an entry here you can short the stock where you can expect the price to go down and for a double bottom the stock price is in downtrend and took support at this point pulled back and again came to this zone for the second time and got reversed and when this neckline got broken a trader can make a entry here through which he can expect the market to go higher so this top and bottom patterns falls under reversal patterns moving on to the next head and shoulder and inverse head and shoulder so in this head and shoulder you could see the three swing highs in that the middle swing is the highest peak it resembles like a left shoulder and a head and a right shoulder so when the stock is in uptrend and the head and shoulder pattern is formed you could expect the price to go down and once it breaks this neckline a trader can go for short selling and inverse head and shoulder is just opposite to the head and shoulder this is the left shoulder and head and the right shoulder and once this neckline is broken a trader can go for long so inverse head and shoulder is a bullish one head and shoulder is bearish pattern let's see this with an example so this is the neckline where the stock is reaching left shoulder and again from this point the stock reaches this high and came down to the neckline and again at this neckline the stock moved and formed this right shoulder pattern and once this neckline is broken a trader can go for a short selling and in inverse head and shoulder this is the left shoulder and at this point the stock took resistance and forms the head at this point and again the right shoulder and once this resistance or this neckline is broken you can go for a 
long so that the price can go higher. This is how you should trade head and shoulder and inverse head and shoulder. Moving on to the next patterns, bearish rectangle and bullish rectangle. Here the price of the stock moves between a channel and depending on which channel the stock price is breaking, you can make an entry. Here at this point, this is the resistance for this stock. This is the support and the price is traveling between the support and resistance and once it breaks this support, you can go for a short selling so that the price can go towards downside. And in bullish rectangle, the price moved in between the support and resistance before breaking this resistance zone. So once this resistance got broken, you can go for a long. So this is how you can trade bearish rectangle and bullish rectangle. Moving on to the next triangle patterns. Triangle patterns are bilateral patterns which means breakout of this triangle could be on either way. There are three types of triangle, ascending triangle, descending triangle and symmetrical triangle. These chart patterns are same as the name suggests. You can clearly see this ascending triangle. The price has not gone above this resistance zone and it is forming the higher lows. Whichever this side the stock is breaking, you can go for either buying or if it is breaking the lower side, you can go for short. In descending triangle, the price is taking support for the continuous time and keeps forming lower highs and once this high is broken you can go for a long and once this support is broken you can go for a short as simple as that and in symmetrical triangle the stocks keep on forming lower lower highs and higher higher lows so once this high or low breaks you can go for a buy or short let us see these patterns with a clear example for clear understanding first ascending triangle so here you can see the stock took resistance at this point, at this point and this point and forming higher higher lows, low, higher low and another higher low and once this resistance is broken, you can go for a long and what if it breaks the either way, here it is an example, stock is continuously touches this resistance and forming higher higher lows and once this price breaks this low you can go for a short this is how you should trade ascending triangle and descending triangle this stock continuously touches this support and forms the lower lower highs and once this high got broken you can go for a long if it breaks the another way that is once this support is broken, you can go for short. And for a symmetrical triangle, this pattern is formed when the stock is forming lower lower highs and higher higher lows. So once this triangle pattern is formed, you can expect a breakout in either way. So wherever the stock gives breakout, you can go for a long or short. I hope you are clear with this triangle patterns, right? So moving on to the next pattern flag patterns as the name suggests this pattern looks like a flag with a pole this is the pole of the flag and this is the flag and this flag travels between the two parallel channel you can see right this is a trend line and here it is another trend line which is perfectly parallel and bearish flag is just opposite to this bullish flag so here is the pole of the flag and this is the parallel channel of this flag let us see this with an example. A stock is in uptrend and enters this channel and forming lower highs and lower lows. And once this high is got broken, you can go for a long. So mostly bullish flags is a continuation pattern. So it is already in uptrend. This is the place where the stock is in consolidation pace and continue the same trend. And bearish flag is just straight opposite to this bullish flag. I hope you are clear with this flag patterns and moving on to the next pennants. This is something that has the characteristics of both flag pattern and triangle pattern. Look at the pole and instead of the parallel channel flag, this pattern has the triangle. Bearish pennant is just opposite to this bullish pennant. And next wedge pattern. Since this pattern looks like the wedge, it became wedge pattern. It is more like flag pattern but the difference is flag pattern is the continuation pattern and wedge patterns are mostly reversal patterns and in the flag pattern you can find the parallel channel but here the channels are not parallel it is converging. I hope you could see clearly in this picture both these trend lines are converging at a point. Let us look at this with an example. Here 
the stock is in uptrend takes support at this point repeatedly and also resistance at this point but when you look at this clearly this bottom trend line is more steeper than the upper trend line and both these trend lines are converging at a point at the point of convergence this price got broken at this point and a trader can go for a short selling here and in the falling wedge which means the stock is in downtrend and enters at this zone here the upper trend line is more steeper than the bottom trend line so when it reaches at this point of convergence it got breakout at this point from here a trader can go for buy wedge patterns are mostly reversal patterns and next one cup and handle so this pattern looks like this cup and a handle so when you look at this example a stock is forming a cup like pattern and it took resistance at this point you just have to wait for the formation of this handle once this resistance is broken a trader can go for a long and cup and handle pattern is always expected to be bullish i hope you are clear with this cup and handle pattern and moving on to the next this is diamond pattern diamond pattern is the rare pattern and it works either way so look at this this is the center line and it forms a new high and a new low and a higher high and a lower low and a lower high whichever the direction the price is breaking a trader can go for a buy or a short so when you look at this example so from this point the price has reached for a new high and reached for a new low and also a lower high and a higher low the pattern looks like a diamond and when it reaches at this point here this particular stock has broken towards the downside hence a trader can go for a short here either way if the stock has broken in the upper direction a trader can go for long hence diamond pattern is bilateral pattern so i hope you are clear with this diamond pattern let's have a quick summary of what we have discussed so far double top double bottom head and shoulder inverse head and shoulder bearish rectangle bullish rectangle ascending triangle descending triangle symmetrical triangle bullish flag bearish flag bullish pennant bearish pennant rising wedge falling wedge cup and handle and diamond pattern there might be some other patterns too but these are the most common patterns that we came across and all the patterns that we have discussed are how the price has moved in the past and in which direction it might move in the future i hope now you might have understood the basics of this price action chart patterns and how to trade at each patterns and as usual if you find this video helpful please share this video with your friends and family and kindly subscribe to our channel we are also on instagram at trading.dna underscore where you can find daily educational posts See you in another video. Until then, take care and bye.